Hello YouTube, welcome to new Synth Anatomy review. Back in 2015 I started a video series about the Roland plugin plug-out synthesizers. Hopefully you watched the other episode already. If not, check on the top for a link to these videos. You miss maybe one synthesizer, the SH2 synthesizer which I doesn't cover yet. Today it's time for this plugin plug-out from Roland. Here very quick some sounds. The SH2 plug-in plug-out synthesizer is a total emulation of the classic hardware synthesizer from 1979. It comes with a dual VCO plus a sub-oscillator which allows to create fat bass sounds, edgy leads and crazy effects. The SH2 plug-out also features the analog circuit behavior technology from Roland, which permit to create such authentic and accurate emulations of the old hardware synthesizers. The SYN comes also with some additional new features like the System 1 effects on the right side and an ARP section with a scatter effect. Now it's time for a bigger sound test.
My verdict for the Roland SH2 is ambivalent, like for the other synths from this company. The sound quality of the SH2 is great and produces fat sounds, especially the bass are excellent and fat. The ACB technology really shows here how deep and authentic they can emulate such hardware synths. Also positive is that you can export the synth directly to your Roland System 1 and System 8 synthesizer. I'm quite a fan of these devices, because you have multiple devices in one synthesizer. Better than for the other polyphonic synths, the SH2 is available as download purchase and in the Roland Cloud subscription. This financial model is in my eyes far better than working only with one system. Too bad the Roland SH2 comes also with some negative points. During my tests I found especially on the plugin version that the fader resolution is not perfect. It's quite difficult to tweak the parameters very deep, because the values change not very accurate. Further, even the CPU meter in Ableton is not the real CPU workflow. The SH2 consumes quite a lot of CPU compared to other synths. Would be great to see here some improvements in future. Last but not least, 
As usual for Roland plugins, the GUI. If you increase the GUI size, it becomes messy and unbeautiful. In this point, Roland needs to change this. In my opinion, for such a high price, this plugin must have better GUIs. In summary, the SH2 is an excellent sounding synth with some weak points. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Roland SH2 plugin synthesizer. Please write me in comments below what do you think about the synth. Do you have maybe a hardware SH2 synthesizer? Please tell the community your opinion about this emulation. I will be happy to read your opinion. If you like this video, please leave a positive thumb and a subscription for more future videos. Many thanks for watching and for your continued support. I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Bye!